is what I was saying. I am getting out of my reading slump, which is good. Like, I was just in a mini reading slump, but mm -hmm. today after school, I went into my room, and, you know, like, my bookshelves are there, uh -huh. and I was like, man, I am in the mood to read something, <laughs> and I have this little itty-bitty uh, table thing that holds, like, six books, maybe, and I put all of my uh, unfinished books there, and so I picked one up. It was Gemina, which is book two in this space series. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go for it. <laughs> and I was like 200 pages in, and then I stopped reading a couple months ago. And I came back, and I, I read like 20 pages maybe. And then mom comes in my room, and she's like, Kobe, you got to make dinner with Sarai. I'm leaving with your dad to go somewhere. And I was like, oh, man. Like Swiper from Door the Explorer. I said that exact thing out loud. <laughs> Uh, not really. Uh, I, I did go to make dinner. It was the chicken with Alfredo stuff. Oh. Uh, our whole family was like at the kitchen table eating, and the little um, air exhaust thing was still on over our stove top. We have an electric stove, that's why. It was on, the stove was on low heat or something for the chicken, so it can still stay a little warm. And then my mom was like, can you guys turn that fire down? And I don't know why she called it fire. She meant fire by like the air exhaust. And I was like, fire i don't hear my mixtape playing anywhere and then soraya started cracking up and my dad just stared at me for a little bit and he's like i don't get it son please explain i was like dad you know fire like fire mixtapes and he's like oh ho, 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 that's a good one he actually didn't say it was a good one he said it was dumb but wait didn't you have a story i did yeah well it's not so much a story as an experience oh what was it come on tell me bro okay so oh yeah no. The other day, I had an audition at what the website said is the greatest theater in Texas. In yeah. reality, it probably was not the greatest theater in Texas, but yeah, like, it's okay. I mean, yeah. it's a pretty good theater, and mm -hmm. they do really good productions. They do what's hot, like the good stuff. The hot? Like Hamilton? Well, they don't do Hamilton, but no. yeah, oh. shows like that. Yeah. Uh, so I was like, oh, I got an audition there. It oh, I know, for... which, I know which theater yeah. you're talking about. <laughs> it was for Beauty and the Beast. Right. And I scheduled an audition, and my mom drove me there. It was like maybe a 50-minute drive, like 5-0. Right. And then we get there, and they're all kids like my age or younger, because I auditioned in the 18 or younger day. And then mm -hmm. the next day was an 18 and over day. Right. And we just sat there for a little bit, because we got there like 20 minutes early. So I was just listening to like some music in the car, preparing. Just jamming out uh, some tunes. Always. It was Legally Blonde, too, so that oh, makes it so much better. I didn't know they made a sequel. <laughs> <laughs> um, all these kids, they were walking like to the right. Like The building was to, to the, the left, right, to the... and oh. I was like, where are they going? There must be a class over there or something. But something. They, they all had folders, and they all like were done up. And I was like... Done up? Yeah, you know, like they had their hair done. They were in oh. like, nice outfits and stuff. And I was like, hmm, maybe auditions are to the right. Anyways, yeah, so I started walking where everyone else was walking. Okay. And there was this totally different building next to the main theater that I had no idea exists. Okay. I, I, um, I walk in there, and there aren't very many people in there at all. But there's this huge studio to the right. And once you walk in, there's a door right in front of you, like right when you walk in. Mm -hmm. And that's where you audition. So we had to walk into the studio. There are people there who signed us up, like any audition. They told me to sit down, like, right next to the door. It was four or five people at a time. Mine was five, I think. Oh, and boy. I was oh. two, uh, so I went second. Like, right when the girl walked out, I had to walk in. Like, it was just like auditions we've always done before. Right. Uh -huh. And I walk in there, and the room is ginormous. It's huge. Oh, it's... Like, it, it, I'm not kidding. Like, maybe it was big because there was nothing in it, mm -hmm. but it had that little frizzly carpet thing. You know what I'm talking about? No. Um, okay, so it had this really, like, Frizzle carpet. I don't know how else to explain it. Okay. Like, throughout the whole room. It was really, like, comfortable. Like the red carpet? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I, yeah. I wanted to just, like, kick my shoes off and just, like, make carpet angels in the, in the carpet. Uh, but I didn't, I know. Oh, that's a fun image, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a guy there with a piano. He's, like, mid-40s, maybe. Mid -40s. And then right next to him is the director sitting at his own table. It's just the director and the guy. And the director's table has so much stuff on it. Like, there's papers everywhere, notebooks everywhere, at least 20 pens. Mm. And I was like, whoa, this guy, he means business. So I walk in, and then they're, all, they're just like, they don't do anything. So I was like, do I slate? What do I do? What do you guys want me to do? And he's like, well, give your music to the guy first and tell him what he's playing. So I go over there, and I tell him what to do, what to play. 
And then I slayed, I tell them my name and then what song I'm singing. I had to give them a resume, so they already knew all that stuff about me. Oh, wow. I know, real fancy. A resume. A resume. Okay, go, go, continue, continue. <laughs> this is, wow. Yeah, yeah. Take I him. showed the guy my music, then I walked back to the center of the room, and he's like, what will you be singing for us today, Colby McGar? I was like, oh, how'd you know my name? <laughs> <laughs> um, but, okay. Continue. Yeah, I told him I was singing a song from Spelling Bee, which is this musical. It's not that well known. And the director mm. was like, yeah, man, that is one of my favorite musicals. That is a good song choice right there. You are a good man. Oh. He, that's like he said, you are a good man. That's what he said. Oh, wow. And I was like, yes, I feel so honored. It's time for me to leave the room now. Please give me a roll. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Anyways, the, sorry. The guy who plays the piano, he was real good. Like, he kept up with me when I was singing, like, he kept up really with fast. You. Really, <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's like, I, I didn't keep up with him. He kept up with me. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is. So I sang my song. <laughs> And, you know, I, I put a lot of emotion to it because I can't sing for the life of me. And Neither after, can I. Yeah. After my <laughs> song, like, they were both cracking up because it's a really fun, it's a fun song to sing. And then the director's like, I like your personality, man. You have a good personality. Like, first he calls me a good man. Oh. And then he says I have a good personality. You do have a good personality. Man, I felt like Miss Texas at, in that moment. Oh, I feel? Bet, I'm sure you did. And then I walk out of the room. And I totally forget that, like, everyone sitting outside of the room can hear everything that's going on. <laughs> they can hear everything. Uh, so I somewhere. walk out, and there are, like, these elderly people. There's someone's grandparents. No. And they're all, like, cracking up. Like, they thought my audition was the funniest thing. But, like, I, d I didn't take offense to it, you know? But that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, totally like, good. Like, it was intentionally like, funny. Like, I walked out, and they were all looking at me, and they were all, like, laughing. Man, you're so, and you're then, so, you're so famous. You're I know, like, I know. You're so talented. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. And then I look to the right, and... To the right? To yeah, the right. like, all these girls my age who were in, like, who were auditioning. And they were all me. winking at me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. They were all, like, staring so blankly at me, like... One of the girls was, like, horrified that I just did that, like, like at an audition. Had an, had an awesome audition? Yeah, because, like, I, I didn't... It's not... It's, it's, but though you're not the same demographic. Yeah. So it like, doesn't matter. So. I didn't necessarily try to sound good, pretty much. You just, and you just did it. I guess they mm. all thought that was the scariest thing in the world. They're like, like, oh, he's auditioning for the best theater in Texas, and he just did that. Anyways. He... But you have a good personality. I do! <laughs> <laughs> I walked out there one confident boy. I, mm. They said they wouldn't start contacting me in three weeks, which is, like, crazy. But they said if I didn't get a call back right there on the spot, then I would most likely not be in the show. But you know what? It's okay. It was a good experience. Well, that stinks. I know. And, like, if I wanted to audition for the show again, the director knows who I am, at least. The piano guy will probably be the same. They're, yeah, you so walk like, in, they'd be like, who are you? I, no, no, no. I feel like... I had a memorable, a memorable audition, and that's the good thing about it. Like, if I wanted to audition for something else there, I walk in the room, and, like, I don't even show my resume. The director will be like, hey, Colby, give me a high five. Boom. Uh, what are you singing today? So, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for future auditions. Oh, wow, yeah. man. Oh, speaking of high fives, oh. totally off track. Oh, but boy. <laughs> me and my dad, we walked into this farmer's market in Grapevine. Oh. And there was, like, jelly there, preserves, fruit, all the gross stuff. And uh -huh. my dad was buying some jelly. He goes up to the counter, and the cash register has a sticky note on it that says, We desperately need fives. Please help us out. And it was all in caps. And then my dad buys the jelly, and then he's like, Hey, put it there, man. And then he just holds his hand up in front of him. And then the cashier looks so confused but eventually he gives my dad a high five and my dad goes uh your ca your cash register said you guys needed high fives so i gave you one and then he walked right out <laughs> <laughs> i get it oh, i was cracking up <laughs> okay you know what i think we can branch off this morning i woke up Whoa. and um what? two minutes later you, you come knocking on my door and That's i right. got so scared <laughs> I got so scared because I was like, oh, no, I I, I just woke up. I, I'm sleepwalking. I don't know what to do. Because I, I woke up at 11 something, right. like 11.08. Uh -huh. And you knock you knock on my door two minutes after I wake up. Like, I'm not even, I'm still in bed rolling around. I have my, my little white dog like right in front of me. And he's sound asleep. 
and then I hear you. Like the only reason I know it's you is because I'm looking at our, I'm looking at the pathway right now, uh-huh. and I could hear you like through my window. And you said like oh narts or something like that. Oh uh, narts? You, I, I, don't, I didn't say that. something like that. And what? I was like, oh hey 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 hey, is that my boy Timothy Philip Bevan? Uh, you, okay, and well, then hey. the the little Tim angel in my head said yes, that is me, Colby. I'm coming to knock on your door. And then the devil Tim was like, ha ha ha, you ain't ready, bro. I'm gonna get you so good. Anyways, yeah, that's what happened with my morning. Well, that's very interesting, Colby. I know. We had TNT rehearsals yesterday. Oh, TNT rehearsals? And we didn't What does this play for? Um, It's called The Importance of Being Earnest. The Importance of Being Earnest. Yes, it labels itself as a comedy of manners. What's a comedy of manners? Basically, it's like all these people in high society from, mm. from the 1800s. Ugh. And like, they take everything to the extreme. Like, that's how people really acted, mm-hmm. like, in that time. Ugh. But times it by, like, 20. Like, you know, like, The Office, like that show? It, it's basically the same thing. Okay. Because, well, like, there there are really people in the office who, like, act like that in the show, but they just took it to the extreme in the show. It's the same thing. Okay, so us. it's just, like, an exaggerated to make it comedic. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. Well, that, that sounds good. It, it actually is really good. I enjoyed it a lot. I'm looking and forward to watching it. But anyway, continue. We had our second rehearsal yesterday. Mm-hmm. And basically, during the read-through, we had to watch three different versions of the play online and then read the full script, because we be doing the junior one. Ain't nobody got time for a three-hour version. And... We came to rehearsals, we spent an hour talking about the versions we watched and what we thought about it. So that was actually homework to go look up bootlegs? It was. Illegal bootlegs on YouTube? No, they're not illegal. They're just on YouTube. Yeah, like colleges, high schools. I'm pretty sure. Not middle schools, though, because... Middle schoolers. Please do not watch middle schools. Put on a period, guys. Oh, man. We probably have middle schoolers watching this show. That's okay. Okay, we we spent an hour talking about that. Uh Uh-huh. It was crazy. How was it crazy, though? Because there aren't many versions on YouTube at all. Oh, like okay. Maybe so we, you two all watch, good versions. So you only watched, you all watched the same ones, basically? Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Okay. So we talked all about that, and honestly, it was kind of boring, but it's okay. What? Because, like, we got to look more into our characters, and, like, the full version, because you see more of your characters in the full version. Wait, so like, what characters did you get? Um, I got Merriman. There Merriman. are only eight characters i think in earnest and like the Ooh. whole show like and you got one there's of them? literally only eight of them. yeah man high five thank you congratulations thank you. bro i'm very excited for it oh man but yeah um so we all got to look into our characters more because every character mm-hmm. has like lines every character's in the show Sweet. so you can't have an excuse like oh in the full version they had no lines like i, I didn't get anything new on them because you did yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'd be saying? Oh, I be saying? You know, you know. Yeah. That's actually really smart to watch the full version. That way, you know everything. Yeah. All the- okay. Wow. That's good. That's okay. cool. Yeah. Anyways, first hour was great. Um, oh. We we got to talk about. Yeah. I you know where this is going. Yeah, I was like, the first hour was great. I don't wonder what the second hour. Is. <laughs> the second hour. Woo! Oh dear. The director told us to go on stage. Oh dear. And he told us all to walk in a circle. It didn't matter which direction you were going. Half of the people were going one way, half were going another way. Uh, so we all walked in a circle, uh-huh. and the director's like, walk in soft focus. Like, don't focus on anything you do realize except for your braid inside your head. You and do realize they might listen to this. This is going on the interwebs. A, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, I mean, you're not dissing them. Be careful here. It's okay. Be careful here, son. Let's pretend but anyways, yeah, we're we mature. Spent, <laughs> Going. I, I want to say half an hour. It could have been more. It could have been less. I'm not sure. I'm just uh, walking around. You know what? And he was telling us. Maybe you just needed a walk. Maybe I did just. Need I'm a representing walk. this director. I stand by you. <laughs> you hear that? We're all gonna take a three-hour jog around the town before. I'm pretty rehearsals. sure he did not say that. <laughs> well, he to... probably will sometime soon. You know what? Maybe walking is good for you. Maybe it is. I took an hour walk today. Uh-huh. And my mom got very scared because I did not bring my phone with me. I just took like an hour walk around the block, and then oh, I came home. Not and she's like, "Colby, I was so scared. Why did you not take your phone with you? I called you like four times." <laughs> I was like, "Sorry, I'm sorry. Aww. I am sorry." Well, you know what? Your mom cares about you. That's, that's what I got true. from this. That that's very true. Anyway, continue. We were walking around, and he, the director, was telling us to like walk in our characters. It's like lead with yes. your chest or lead with your. Oh, I poked myself in the eyeball. <laughs> lead with your chest or lead with your head. Or yes. Lead with your arms. I or your ear. That's a good idea. I'm gonna have to use that for my next directing. Yeah. 
moment. And basically, we were just walking around a lot, and he was telling us things to do. But, like, honestly, this guy stay on the down low, but I kind of zoned out. Like, I was listening to him. Oh, dear. And I'm the sure truth I'm, comes out. everyone else was doing their job. But, like, it, we just spent so long walking around. So after 10 minutes, I want to say, 10 minutes. I just kept walking around in a circle. You just kept on walking. <laughs> so they kept on going, but they, they stopped and you were like, no, no, no. You, were just, yeah. you, you must have looked like a psychopath Stop plotting it. for World War Three. <laughs> but yeah, at the end, he was like, I'm going to count down from 10. And when I get to one, everyone's going to stop. And you know, I was half listening, oh, right? Oh, no. So finally he gets down to one. Everyone stops. And like, I don't think it was noticeable, but I was walking around for a good three seconds after everyone stopped. And I was like, oh, okay. Hey. Kobe? Hey, guys. Hey. It's me, your boy. This is embarrassing. I feel like cringing just hearing it, but, but it's okay. It's okay, okay, man. We spent another half an hour, I want to say, just talking about what we experienced while we were walking around. You know what? And there, what? I like this director. Oh, well. You know what? Well. Uh, you're talking about this very negatively. But no, I, no, 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 what do you, no, you know, no, Colby? No, no, You've never directed no, no, a play. No, 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 no. Maybe this maybe, actually helps. Maybe. That's what I'm saying. Maybe I, I'm not saying there's anything against his methods. I'm just saying that I was being a rebel <sighs> child and only half paying attention. So I, I'm poking fun at myself. No hate on the director. Oh. He's great. But yeah, there, we go. Uh, there are only like, I, I don't want to count it now, but I'm pretty sure there are only eight people in the cast. Uh huh. So everyone like shared their own amount of stuff. Like we oh. all shared the same. Except for me, like I still because you were because you, you were because I of wasn't it. paying attention. There you oh, go. Kids. What were you thinking Please about? Please pay attention in class to get those A minuses, B pluses. Oh yes. Why not an A plus? Nope, that's impossible. I finished this book called *A Gathering of Shadows* yesterday. Oh. I I read it like all day. Really? I I woke up. I opened my book. I was like 300 pages in. I was like, I'm determined to finish this. There was like 210 pages left. This is the second book in the series. Uh-huh. It's a fantasy series, and I love it. He likes fantasy. I do, and it's adult fantasy too. Oh. Like, they, no, no, no. It's not like it's not inappropriate. It's just like well, everyone in it are 21 or older. Like there are no teenagers, and it's such a relief because everyone like acts out. Like, what what's the word I'm trying to find? Uh, um, like when they're smart, like right. they know mm-hmm. what. Wait, what's the word? I will not go on until Empowering I find. Empowering teenagers. No, they they act mm, sane, 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 sane. That's the word, sane. Okay, but yes, I finished <coughs> the second Sorry. book. It's a really good series. It's called A Darker Shade of Magic. Go read it, everyone. Darker Shade of Magic. Wait a minute. Should we be recommending this to the kids? Oh, no. <laughs> kids, <laughs> Read don't. it anyways. No, kids, do not read that book. Okay, but but anyways, I was like, oh, man, I got to get the third book. The third book's, like, super huge. So I was huge. I was planning on, like, knocking it out, like, at the end of this week. I was uh-huh. like, yo, I'm ready. So I walk into mom and dad's room. I was like, mom, dad, man, I'm going to need your car keys. Can someone drive me to BNN now? Because I need the third book now. Because oh. the second book ended on a cliffhanger, too. Like, oh. the second I finished it, I was like, whoop! I plopped it on my bed. I ran into Mom and Dad's room. I was like, someone take me to Barnes & Noble. All right. Uh, Mom was asleep, actually. I think oh. I woke her up. That's oh. okay. Yeah. <laughs> my dad was like, it's a beautiful day outside, son. You can walk yourself to Barnes & Noble. And then call me when you're ready to be picked up. Yeah, that's right. You live kind of close to I it. was like, okay. Yeah, the walk only took like 20 minutes, too. I was like, yo, oh, bless up. That was longer than I thought. Yeah, well, it, yeah, it wasn't that long. You should have ran and made it 10. <laughs> I ran for a good minute and a half, and then I got tired. Uh, I got to Barnes & Noble. There are people there everywhere, because it's spring break. There, There's people in every single aisle, and there are workers. And I looked in the normal, like, adult fiction section, because I thought that's where it was going to be, but it wasn't there. So I went up to go to the computer, because there used to be a computer there, and you could type in... Like, what book, and they would show you exactly where it was. Like, libraries, uh-huh. when they give you the numbers. But this right. time, like, they actually showed you where it was in the store, like, Google Maps style. Whoa. I know, it was so cool. That's nice. The computer was not there, and I was like, oh, no, I'm going to have to ask someone now, but I really don't want to. So I just kept searching around. I was like, you know what? You, you're I will, avoiding human I will find it. <laughs> no, because I didn't want to be rude. You yeah. didn't want to be rude? Hey, can you help me find this book? I went, because... Everyone who works at that Barnes Noble are in a bad mood almost every time I go there. So I was like, no, I can't put them in a worse mood. I'm not about that life. And yeah. I was looking around for another 10 minutes maybe. And there were there were teenagers 
everywhere. And they weren't just the normal teenagers like me and you. Like they were the they were the wild bunch. Oh you no! You know, throughout the whole store, I was like, ah. They were like jumping around, like yeah. on the couches, hanging yeah. out in the midsection. <laughs> they really were, but that's oh. okay. That's okay. Teenagers will be teenagers. And um, after like ten minutes of looking around for the third book, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna plunge in. I'm gonna ask one of them uh, to show me where the book is. And so this guy was just walking down an aisle, and I was looking at books. I was like, excuse me, sir. And he's like. Yes. Like, I'm not exaggerating. Like, I yes. sound like a bad person. Like, I don't want to, like, talk bad about people or exaggerate their character. But they they really are like that at Barnes & Noble. Like, I'm not lying. He was like, really? Yeah. He was like, yes. I was like, um, I'm looking for a book. Can you help me find it? And he was like, oh, what's it called? He actually sighed. I was like, you know what? I'm in your store. I'm buying your books. Please up your mood. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it's called A Conjuring of Light. It's book three by V.E. Schwab, one of my favorite series ever. <laughs> <laughs> I actually just said it's called A Conjuring of Light. And he's like, okay, follow me. And then he took me to the booth in the middle of the store. Oh. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. And there was another girl there, and she was in her early 20s. And she was nicer, which was good. Aww. He's like, yeah, he's looking he's looking for A Conjuring of Light. And she was like, ah. Oh. I've heard of that book. I got you, fam. I, 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 I got you. Oh, she was in a better mood. That's nice. That, yeah, they balanced themselves out. Oh. Um, Yin and yang. But, but yeah, she typed it up. She was like, hey, I found it. Come follow me. I'll, 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 I'll show you where it is. Come, just, just, just follow me. Just, all right. I was like, you know what? Okay, I will. And <laughs> she took me to the fantasy section. And I was like, man, I didn't even look in the fantasy <laughs> section. <laughs> I looked at adult yeah. fiction. I looked at historical nonfiction. I looked at everything except for, <laughs> okay. But anyway, she took me to the fantasy sections, and there were, yeah. um, there were four or five teenagers in that same section. I want to say. That's and why you probably avoided it. I'm like, I'm not going next yeah, to them exactly. teenagers. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Because I, uh, I don't know if it's just me, but I hate going to Barnes and Noble when there are other people in the aisle. I know. Books. I, I don't know why, but I can't stand that. Oh, and, like, they weren't even looking at books. I don't even know what they were doing in the fantasy They were section. probably they were just, just hanging around talking yeah, about stuff. Yeah, they were stuff. just chilling. And then they saw this, the, the young, young lady come and show me where the book was, and I followed her. And they all just kind of, like, stared at me, and I was, ah. Hmm. I'm going to need a second. Okay, though. He needs a second, people. <laughs> okay. There, there. Okay. There, there. They all stared at me. Like, they had such a look in their eye. They're like, did this kid really need help finding a fantasy <laughs> book in the fantasy section? What? Well, I wasn't exactly embarrassed because I don't get embarrassed. I was just, you guys, I was like, you guys should not be judging. Man, I spent ten minutes looking for this. <laughs> ten minutes? I, I really did. And, but anyways, yeah, they kept staying in the fantasy section and all that good stuff. Uh, and I actually avoided those sections when I was looking for other books. I was like, nope, 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 nope. Um, and then some of them ended up leaving, but this one couple stayed. Uh, and they were sitting in chairs. Like, they, they were sitting in two chairs just talking to each other. Young and then love. I, <laughs> don't get married. <laughs> and I was oh in God. the aisle. I was in the aisle next to them. I was just, you know, looking at books. I was like, hmm looks good and picking out some books that sounded good and i look over at, at the boy and mm -hmm. he's staring right at me oh. with such a Wait. that's such a dumb 15 year old kid even oh. though he was maybe 16 oh it's like oh little kids nowadays i don't know if that was what he was thinking but that's the vibe i got mm. so i legit skirted out of that aisle and i went to like the other sections where that 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 boy could not be seen. And you know what? I felt, I felt great. I felt great. All right. Well, hey. That, it was kind of a long story, but. I mean. There you go. In the end of it. In the end. I subtext got, I version. Got, I got my book. Yeah, you got your book. I got another book, too. It's you got judged by a bunch of people you don't know. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. You'll never probably see them again. Mm -hmm. Unless you go to Barnes & Noble. Except for those Barnes & Noble employees. Oh, dear. That girl was nice, though. So. Aw. I'm going to ask her out soon. <laughs> Okay, Colby, you have a story for us? I do have some stories, but they're kind of depressing, so I don't know if you're going to hear depressing You know what? Stories. I want to... Let's try it out. Try it out? Let's, let's get real. When I saw Finding Neverland... <laughs> <laughs> this must be a really I... depressing story. You're laughing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, continue. Sorry. I think it's just funny to think of, because... <laughs> 
No, can, to open up your I, heart. We're I, all here for you. I don't know if Soraya will listen to this podcast, but... <laughs> oh, no. Go. Okay, okay. Don't diss her. Don't diss her. No, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going to. Because I sat on the left of Soraya and then on the right of... Well, I can't say full names, but... Yeah, okay. Well, let's use a fake name for her. Her, her. Let's just say her name was Jeanette. Jeanette. Yeah. Go on. I, okay, I was sitting to the left of Soraya and to the right of Jeanette. And... <laughs> Uh, the show opens up, like, it, it starts. It's a whole ace crew there. There's a lot of people there. The, it's us in one row, mm-hmm. and then, like, parents in the row behind us. During Act 1, it was just, like, a normal musical, mm-hmm. you know, for most of Act 1, and it was fine. Like, there was nothing tear-jerking about it, you know? Oh, right? I see where this is going. And then, like, all of Act 1, I was just crying. Because <laughs> I was, like, I don't know, I was thinking about a lot of things. Like, I had no idea what was even going on in the show. Because my mind was just so full of things, and I just started crying. And Soraya, <laughs> she kept looking over at me. She never asked me any questions after the show. She never, like, did anything about it. Oh. <laughs> but She was trying to probably give you some space if you were crying up. Yeah, I don't know, but I felt so uncomfortable because she just kept staring at me. And I was like, get me out of here right now, please. What were you thinking and it about? Was even <laughs> that doesn't matter. Okay. And it was even worse... Because during Act 2, I was crying throughout all of that, too. As I mean, as well. Because uh-huh. I don't want to say two twice in the same sentence. <laughs> Writing, kiddos! <laughs> and I was actually crying because I was paying attention to the show this time. Like, I honestly couldn't tell you much of what happened in Act 1. Because I wasn't paying that much attention. So but, you weren't e- you weren't crying because of the play? You were no. Cr- you were crying about something you were thinking about? Yeah. Okay. Because I'm a depressed, angsty teenager. <laughs> <laughs> and... During that too, I was crying because I was paying attention to the show. Because, uh, thank goodness, is actually really easy to follow. Like I mm-hmm. just started picking up at the end of Act One, and I, f- I was fine. Like I knew exactly what was going on. And Act Two was really sad. So basically, what you get out of that story is that I was pretty much crying in a fourth tier for a good two hours. I listened to the the Twenty One Pilots like self titled album last night for the uh-huh. first time. They just called it Twenty One Pilots, and like. <laughs> I don't know. It was so sad. Like I was listening to it, and then I just started crying. <laughs> and it was so weird too because I was I was right there. Like, We're so I, emotional. I, was, aren't we? I, I know. I was laying down. Yeah. And then I just <laughs> I just started crying. And like my I don't know why because my tears like so warm this time. Oh, I I feel you, brother. And I, sometimes like well sometimes most times when I cry my tears are like not warm, but last night it was like. <laughs> It was like a boiler room up in my up in my pores up in my cheekbones. Why are you so, crying? I, it was just I don't, I don't like, know why I, they were so okay. I'm looking at my dresser drawers right now, and I'll paint the picture for you. It's it's a wooden dresser drawer, right? And it's it's beige colored, and they all That's collapsed okay. on top of each other. Like <laughs> I don't know how it happened. Like full on pancake. But you have to like lift up the other drawers if you want to get to like the <laughs> third one or like the second to bottom one. This is funny. I'm enjoying this. It's story. actually really amazing. And we're well, we are. I'm about to put another dresser in there. I was supposed to do it today, but I'll probably do it tomorrow. And so I was like, you know what? I gotta I gotta clean out my dressers. You know, like throw away the stuff I don't need. Well, yeah. not, not throw them away. Give them mm-hmm. away. I don't know. Do I, do whatever I feel CCA. like doing with them. Just stuff them under my bed for later. Oh, you know. or, or that. And I cleaned, <laughs> out th- I cleaned out the top one, and that's where I have, like, my money in. And apparently I kept letters in there, too. I don't mm. know. And I, ha- I have socks. It, it, it's supposed to be a sock drawer, uh-huh. right? But there was a lot more stuff in it. like A lot like, more just, stuff in just it. Like, just <laughs> toys? I, I don't even know. But I took all the socks out, then I saw all the toys and miscellaneous stuff on the bottom. And one of them was, was this piece of paper. It said... Club Penguin Book Club. I wrote it myself. Really? I, you, I, I drew the picture on it. Okay, well, Sarai drew the picture, but I wrote the Club Penguin I wanna Book Club. I want to read part. this. I know. It's we should great. read it out loud yeah. during the podcast, but okay. Uh, okay, anyways. Tune um, in next time. There, next time. There, there, there's a puffle on it on one side. It was a blue puffle. Ooh. And then on the other side, it was a penguin from Club Penguin. That I drew. Uh, and he was like walking his blue puffle or something. I don't know. That's fine. And I was like, you know what? <coughs> I should do Bless something you. with this. So I walked into Sarai's room. And I go into the bathroom. I'm like, where should I put this? Because there was already a piece of tape on it. Mm-hmm. I was like, hey, hey, I'm going to prank her so good by putting it on her bathroom mirror. <laughs> so I did just that, but it fell off right after. And I didn't want to go into the kitchen to get more tape. So I was like, hmm. Hmm. 
what should I do? So I lifted up her toilet lid. Lifted it up. And then I put it on her toilet bowl. Uh huh. But here's the good part. Oh, yep. no. When I closed the toilet bowl, it fell into the toilet water. And this is when I started panicking. Because <laughs> I was like, what do I do now? I can't get it out. There, there, oh, ah! So I, I kind of just walked out. He, yeah. And I found more s- stuff to like put in the shower. But the, the moral the, the of the stuff, story is... The stuff was Percy Jackson posters. They were like maybe <laughs> a three by two size. And he hangs up like six <laughs> in my shower. They're a good four years old. I'm literally, I've been working all day. I just come home and Colby goes, hey, check your shower. <laughs> like, why? <laughs> all right. Take a listen to this. Okay, so dad is off at work, oh, right? And that's right. Was go. John doing who's, who knows what. And then the other <laughs> little girl sister that lives in this house, she was playing Minecraft. So I was like, you know what? I gotta find good songs to sing for upcoming auditions, right? Right. Mm-hmm. You are such an auditioning boy now. I know. I'm so proud of this so guy. Audition Here's boy. what I did. I went boy. into our garage 2.0. You know what I'm talking about? Like the garage oh, yeah. outside the garage. Yeah. It's yeah. Like, why don't you just call it a shed? Because you can see I want to shed away from those topics. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> see what I did there? All right, so ah. I, I went into the shed. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? I gotta practice. I gotta just sing my heart out. And you know, I do that in the car. I've 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 settled <laughs> on a song finally. I'm gonna sing Electricity from Billy Elliot. And okay, here's the thing. I went in there and I was like, whoo, I can sing as loud as I want, no one will hear me. It's fine, right? It's, it's re- that's a relieving factor. It's like yeah. nobody can judge me, I can just Yeah, <laughs> no one can hear me. I can sing Belt however loud I want. Yeah, and, and if but, I But oh, but oh. but there was a hornet wasp in there. Not a normal wasp. Not oh. a not a oh that's it's kind of a scary wasp, you know. It's subpar. Not a bee, okay? Not not a horsefly. A yeah. hornet wasp, baby. And I was like, what do I do? What do I do? I don't know what to do. So I ran to the other side of the shed, and I just stayed there. And I looked at the wasp. He was just flying around. And then he finally, like, settled on one of the beams on okay. the, the okay. shed wall. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, you know what? It's okay. So I stayed over there for a little bit. Uh-huh. And I was like, I don't know. And then I waited, like, a good three minutes. And I was like, it's okay. I don't think he's going to do anything. Mm-hmm. Then I walk over there. And then the second I walked over there, he buzzed, like all over my head, just buzzed. and I was like, Whoa! so I ran out of there, and I forgot to turn the light off too. So when I was like halfway to the house, I like turned back, and then I I, I, I had to turn the light back off. But anyways, maybe he just wanted to hear you sing. Maybe he was lonely. Yeah, Did maybe you ever maybe that in? maybe he wanted to know what all the buzz was about. <laughs> oh, buzz. You just deprived a wasp. Entertainment, Colby. How does it make you feel? Sorry, so I, I, I don't think you would act any differently. I have to be honest. Here. Yeah. Our family went to the zoo for Christmas. Oh no! Right. The zoo. I was like, when did we the go zoo. to the zoo? <laughs> for Christmas. Even, what? For okay. Christmas. No, I remember it now, and, but and, I just. And I'll tell you what the best part of that zoo story was. Why Christmas? We why, we why we. Why talk about Christmas? We walked in because it's to the March. little, like bug place. It's April. Where oh, whoops. it shows where the bugs are. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, that was really neat. Yeah. And yeah, it was yeah. great. I loved it. It was kind of small, but it's okay because there was a lot of cool bugs. A lot in of there. little cockroaches. And insects. Ew. <laughs> and there were there Wait. were there were so many little kids in there, which is like fine. Like I like oh, kids. Oh, look Whatever. at this! Look fine. at the bugs. But they were all screaming. Ah! Just like, like that. No, for real though. What? <laughs> Every single one of them. Like it was crazy. I was like. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get out Rules of, of three. <laughs> you wanted to go but and I meditate? S- I s- <laughs> that. You want to do some gospel music? Oh. But I stayed in there because I, I was a trooper. I was like, man, I got to yeah, learn about these bugs. Wow. Oh, I, I forgot. I forgot. Oh, and yeah. He wants to The talk only about reason it. I remember it is because I actually have a letter in here. Because, okay. <laughs> you have a letter inside your pillow? <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's cracking up, people. Wait. Funny story. What I, was that? A text message? I don't. I don't know what that was. That wasn't my phone. Oh. Oh, did it Ryan? Was my, it, it was my phone. Okay. Sorry. Okay. But yeah, I don't know if my mom would listen to this. But we were cleaning out my top drawer today. Right. And like, I found a letter uh-huh. in it from someone. It's not like personal. It doesn't like. Yeah, you it, mentioned it's not this. like a love letter or anything. Oh. Yeah, I mentioned it. it's not. It's not anything like that. It's just. It's just a letter. But I was like, no, I don't need. I don't need mom saying that. So I didn't know where to put it. <laughs> it, was, I, it, I, it was a letter. Yeah. Like, what kind of letter was this? Was it like, I just a it, diary? 
<laughs> it's like my feelings are being written down on and this piece of paper. It's it's so weird too because it, well if it's well it, it was just letters because like uh me and that person haven't connected in a while so they're like hey I haven't forgot about you and I was like oh that's sweet that they took the time to like you oh, know, send out a letter for it's me. all coming together you were talking about a handwritten letter like the sixth episode man. <laughs> you really have to watch this from the beginning, <laughs> new listeners. It's I like know a this mystery episode... show. Put the clues together. I know it's just an ongoing story of our lives. Okay, but yeah, speaking yeah. of that, like you gotta go ahead. when um, I got that letter from her, I loved it. I, I was like, oh, this is so sweet. This is a great letter. So I actually, well, oh, it was I, from a girl. I never, okay, I never wrote back to her. Oh well, it's okay. Uh, she knows I got it. Wow. Proper, probably. Well, she does like, now. Yeah, because it had a date on it. It said February twenty first of twenty seventeen, I think. And this is the, that's this so is, long. This is the first ago. time I'm seeing it since like I first read it. So, you know, I'm crying in the club right now. But you didn't write back. No, I think I texted her or something. It's okay. Okay, well, okay. Um, all right. <laughs> but yeah, I was thinking. Oh, I kind of like this letter concept because it actually means something. Because she like she didn't handwrite it; like she wrote it on the computer and then printed it out. Oh. But I, I I was reading it today, and I was like, someone actually took the time to like get on their computer and then type. Yeah. I I don't know. It's kind of annoying. But someone actually took the time to get on the computer, type something out for only me to see. Like they didn't intend anyone else to see that. And I uh, I don't know. I was like, yeah. wow, that's so crazy. So it's 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 I, sweet. I yeah I, I I wrote uh well I wrote a handwritten letter I probably should have typed it out because it took forever to write. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah I I wrote a handwritten letter to one of my friends just for Christmas because she lives like so far away. Right I think you mentioned that yeah. Yeah I probably did, and like <laughs> I don't know what it is but I I love the concept of letters like <laughs> I I've I've gotten more than just the letter I was talking about. But I like, collect all mine I put them in a little box. Yeah, because it's kind of rare. Like it's so nice, and I just felt good. I don't know why, but I felt good writing a letter to someone. I was like, it "Feels good." Yes, don't yes, it? yes. They're coming back, man. I know, and I really need to yeah. like get back into it. Well, I'll probably type out like my letters next time, but mm. but yeah, I don't. I don't you probably won't feel as good though. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you have to struggle. I'll, I'll tell like you someone should, no, else to write. It no, for you me. should write it on like um, parchment paper with a quill and pen. Okay. <laughs> for the full experience. <laughs> so, I'm connecting this to yesterday. Oh dear. Okay. Yesterday, <laughs> I yes. woke up and my stomach was hurting like a lot, and I was it like, was "Yeah, hurting a lot. yeah, whatever. It's fine. <laughs> like, it's it's fine. It's fine." Uh, yeah. But <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. It was really hurting. Okay. <laughs> It was hard to get involved. Okay. My, my, my stomach was a little... Uh, you know what I'm saying? When it your stomach's a, just a little... Uh, it was a little... Uh, it was a little... Uh, I know what you're saying. Like, yeah. you just drank a whole jar of vinegar. Okay, but I was like, yeah, it's fine. Like, yeah. I'll just take an Advil. I'll be fine. So I took an mm -hmm. Advil. I did school. My stomach was still hurting. I was like, it's fine. It's, it's, it's fine. <laughs> so we went to rehearsals. And... Yeah. The second I got to rehearsals, I didn't even, like, talk to anyone. I just went straight to the bathroom. Straight to the bathroom. Because my stomach was still hurting, you know what I'm saying? Still hurting. And then I, I almost threw up. I really did. Like, I was, really? I was just gagging. Oh, my goodness. Just, like, wow. in front of the wow. toilet. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> what, did, did you, like, what did you eat? Nothing. I, well, it's because my dad's stomach was hurting, like, a couple days ago. Oh, like a stomach lot. bug. Yeah, and I think I got it from him. I don't know. And, okay. And then I, 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 like, almost threw up, but I didn't. I started gagging. And then, like... You know, when you start gagging and then tears just start, like, coming out of your eyes? Yeah. Yeah. yeah that happens all the time. That's what happened. <laughs> uh, then, anyways, I just stayed in there for a little bit. I was like, whoo. I, I, I got napkins out of the dispenser thing. Okay. And then right. that little dispenser thing where you wave your hand in front of it and then right. the things come out. Yeah, I use that to, like, clean up my face. Yeah, I love that thing. And then I went back out. Then we did the rest of rehearsals. I was feeling fine. Mm-hmm. So I got back into the machine? car, and immediately, my stomach starts hurting again. Oh. I was like, how does this even happen? Like, oh. I feel like it was just God or something. I don't know. He's like, I'll give you these two hours for rehearsals for feeling fine. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Because, like, maybe, I, I don't know. Maybe. God works in mysterious ways. He does. He does. He does. Or maybe there was germs in your car. <gasps> oh. Yeah, I don't know. Man, I don't know. It's I like, was feeling fine at rehearsals, and right. then I get back into the car. It just, well, bam. It bam. Hits, it, it hits me again. So Kill him. here's right. a here's a little story mm -hmm. because I so rarely tell stories on here. As I know. We all know. 
I, <laughs> I went to the movies with oh um, my. my mom and then my sister a, mm-hmm. a week and a half ago. Right? Sweet. It wasn't the normal AMC because no, 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 no. That's mm. too expensive. Uh-uh. Yeah. We didn't go to that. We went to Carmike, which AMC owns. But hey, their tickets are like $5. Amen. Like every ticket. <laughs> yeah. So we're like, what up? <laughs> Plus, those are the theaters that you can just like walk into. Because, like, you walk in and the snack bar is like the very back. That's really nice, actually. Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll probably do that when I'm older, but, like, I can't now because I can't drive. But it's, it's okay, fine. Not yet. It's fine. Okay, and we. <laughs> it's the worst, but we got tickets to see Isle of Dogs. And if oh. you don't know what that is. <laughs> oh, no. It's I'll... some stop motion movie about this Japanese 12 year old boy who goes to this, like, island full of dogs to look for his lost oh, my. dog. That's the whole movie. I'm not even kidding. So, what we did was we got tickets for it. There, it was the theater in the very back. There are so many theaters there. It's, uh-huh. like, sketchy, though, because no one ever goes to Carmike, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. So we go in. We, we actually pay for our tickets. <laughs> and and we, 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 go, impressive. we go to the Bath Theater. But as we're walking there, there's a second snack stand there okay. that's, like, not working, right? It's, it's okay. like, I don't even know why it's there because there's a snack stand when you walk in. But the second one's just kind of there. I don't know what's going on. All right. And there were two of those Coke machines where you could get any drink, like, ever. You oh, I know. Yeah, yeah. The, I love those things. But and no, the, the um, one of the screens were black, and the other screen said, touch to get started. Okay. So guess what I did? I touched the screen to get started. Wow. And wow. it booted up and everything. Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> it, like, showed the Coke. And we were the only people in, well, we weren't the only people in the theater, but, like, there weren't many people there. So I was like, ho, 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 hey, look at that. We could get free drinks. So. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, what I'm saying, I kind of just, like, veered off my story for that. But we got free drinks from that thing nice. through the whole movie. <laughs> Sorry, Carmike. Whoa. Sponsor did, us. Did you just confess of stealing soda? It's not a confession. Yeah. It's not a confession. We're just, talk- we're just telling the story. Confessions too. with girls. Hashtag relatable. And, okay, what I was saying. <laughs> just girly we, things. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Hey guys, it's me, Colby. Just girly things, you know, it's just it's free drinks. Colby, oh, uh, Ryan, goodness. and then we have a special guest, I Justine, with us today. Oh. <laughs> Would you say hello to the camera? Hi. We don't have a camera. Just we don't? We have a mic. Oh shoot, wait, I'm out. <laughs> what? <laughs> Bye. Am I, am if I? people can't see my luscious good looks, then I'm out of this podcast. Yes. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay. That's the way I operate. Uh, oh, let me okay. finish this real fast. Oh, we well, were... Okay. All right. Yeah. No, sorry. <laughs> no, you're fine. <laughs> we were... Oh, 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 hey. <laughs> we, we walk in the theater. There's another... Like, well, I'm not going to call her old, but she was old. Like, that's all I'm saying about that. An old lady walked in. <laughs> An elderly woman. I don't know. I'm not being disrespectful because she was really old. A senior. <laughs> yes. She was 18 and everything, graduating this year. <laughs> and she sat in one of the front rows. She, like, brought popcorn and drinks and whatever you bring. I don't know. We, like, finagled stuff into there, and we had free drinks, so joke's on her. But halfway through the movie, like, me, Sarai, and Mom, we were, like, kind of being loud about it because like yeah, the, the movie that. like the movie was all around good like it was funny but like there uh-huh. was a lot about it that you could make fun of yeah <laughs> you know yeah and so we were watching it we were just like talking through the movie uh-huh. and then like not even halfway through the lady gets up and she walks away and we're like okay she'll be back she never came back <laughs> i don't know if it was because of the movie if it was because of us I don't know, but that, she just that, didn't come back. That movie's like PG-13. That um, surprised me. How much me. you want to bet that she was trying to get a drink out of the machine that didn't work? And she got caught. And she got escorted out. <laughs> <laughs> so did you want to talk about Hong Jr.? You just mm. did a whole week. What is it, Monday? Wait, wait. what is it, Friday through Thursday? Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Not Monday? No. no. Oh. oh, that's uh, a bummer. Wait. Wait. Was it Monday? I think so. How did you forget a whole day of your life? Because we didn't... I don't know. It, it was sometime this week. Right. Um, I don't have many eventful stories, but basically we... Bro. I know, not much... No, not, nothing happened? No, nothing really happened. I, that, I'm kind of surprised. That's not very entertaining for I know. the listeners. I know! Because oh. oh. I can turn everything into a story, so <laughs> catch me over here. Wait a minute. So, you walked in. Start from there. I walked. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna start okay. from the very beginning. Okay, continue. I woke up. No, 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 no. <laughs> I already see where this bit is going. It's not successful. <laughs> let's 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 try. I got out of my covers. No. <laughs> I opened my bedroom door. No. Oh my goodness. Hurry, hurry, hurry. You can only have like a handful of people who actually listen to the show. Let's not you're lose right. all of them. You're right. You're right. You're right. All right. So 
Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm assuming all of our listeners know what touring is. If you mm-hmm. don't, then I, I'm sorry. I'll try to explain it real fast. Bye. Um, you go on tour. Yeah. Yeah. We're like a band. I play the cello. Um, you no, know, he doesn't. Stick to the status quo. But no, no, no. What we do is we, we put on this show for elementary school kids, two school, not two schools, two two shows for the same school a day, and then we go Whoa. to a new school for the next day. What schools were these? Well, um, like what, what kind of grade schools? They were all uh, kindergarten through fifth grade. Oh. For two of the schools, it was K through third, and then fourth through sixth. But for the last school, it was just a mix of all of them for both shows. Uh, were, were they... No, uh, they were for respectful kids. They were respectful yes, kids. Yes. Yeah. But, okay. Anyways, tour. Uh, you have to wake up at five a.m. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing happens. But five a.m. Yeah. That stinks. You wake up at five a.m. and you have to be there at five fifty. So it's it's just a little crazy. Um, I got enough sleep though. What? That's... So it's okay. Cause I um, well, I'm both a morning and night person. Hmm. Don't ask me why, but if I get too much sleep, I'm actually cranky. Like, I'm actually cranky if I get, like... I can see that. More than 10 hours, you know? Oh, wow, well, yeah, but, well, like, of course. But, like, for those three days, I only got three hours every night, and I felt ooh, great, ooh. you know? So... Three... That's... I don't know. It's a blessing. How are you alive? Uh, but, yeah, uh... Oh. Since all of our viewers are... Listeners. Oh, yeah. Very eagerly awaiting my haps on the very special firehouse audition oh yes ah the story continues go on go 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 go. yeah i think i've talked about it in every podcast so here we are yeah man it's it's all leading up to this yes i didn't get in but hey what okay Uh, okay 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 listen listen, that that was disappointing i got called back for eric and triton in little mermaid uh, but I didn't read for Triton because they didn't have enough time. But I did sing for Eric, and it was great because only two other boys were called back, Ooh. and they were both, like, 13, and all the aerials are, like, 16. So, oh, like, did you I get... think we know where this is going. But So so you haven't got turned down for The Little Mermaid, you know? <gasps> yeah. I would love to see you as Prince Eric. I know. Oh, I would love goodness. to be Prince Eric. Man, I kind of want to be Prince Eric. We all want to, but, no, I would rather see you. Yeah, and I, uh... I I actually haven't told you the story. I know I've told a few people this oh, story, but okay. I don't think those people listen to this podcast. So okay, liberties. <laughs> yeah, what can I say? For James the Giant Peach callbacks, uh, they were both held on the same day, and I went in there for Grasshopper, and there were a lot of boys called back for Grasshopper. I want to say like eight or yeah, probably eight or nine. Right. And I sang for Grasshopper. Everyone in that room was like, "Wow, you were so amazing. You deserve Grasshopper." Wow. Um, nice. the, the directors like kept pointing at me. Like I'm not making it like I'm not exaggerating. Like this is really what happened. Like right. I'm not sure why the directors were pointing at me, but I don't know what they were thinking. That boy is totally out of his place. No. Yeah, probably. No, help. And definitely not. What I did was um mm-hmm. I, w- I went home. I felt good about myself. Um uh, well, I, I I know, right? <laughs> like I don't know. No, I, I'm I, sorry. I felt good in the I felt confident about the college, you know? Ah. And I don't feel confident about colleagues often, so hey, hey. But I had to email the director, oh. one of the directors, and I was like, hey, I have like 12 conflicts, but I can, oh, sorry, <laughs> I can make it for the last half hour of all of the rehearsal that I listed the conflict for. And then she emailed me back and she said, is there any way you can work around these conflicts? Because this will affect casting. <gasps> and then I emailed back. I was like, <laughs> no. <sorry. laughs> oh, no. And wait, she, wait, wait, I got confused. Which play is this? James. And then, <laughs> but I didn't just say no. I said like more than just no. And I was expecting a response back, you know, because right. like that was an email where I was expecting a response back. I like asked a question or something like that, but she never responded back. And then at the graduation party yesterday, mm. um, like everyone was like walking up to me. They're like, "Oh, Colby, bleepity bleep, got earthworm. Did you hear?" And I was like, "What? No." And they're like, "Yeah, he got a call and everything." And I was like, "What?" Yeah. And uh... then I went home. And then one of, well, not one of, actually, well, bleepity bleep. Which oh, no. she texted me. She's like, "Did you get in James?" And she was like did and then like the letter u and it's like yet and then the letter n and then like j m s <laughs> and then i responded back i was like no and she's like 
LOL, well, I'm in it. So I was like, wow. Wow. Okay. And then Whoa. another friend that I just like met. Some at, friend. At callbacks. She texted me too. She's like, did you get in James? I was like, no, did you? She's like, yep, I got Spiker. So, man, so many right. people got in. Yeah, the uh, only reason I didn't get in was because of conflicts. I'm thinking. <sighs> like, I feel like, well, I feel like they wanted me as Grasshopper, you know? I would like, like, I'm just going to put that I would have liked to see you as Grasshopper. I hope they're listening to this. You should have just went with the conflicts. Yeah, but, but hey, it worth guess it? what? Hmm? Was it? That gives me the opportunity to audition for both Aladdin and slash or Mary Poppins at Gateway. And hey. Gateway is a great Christian environment. When I signed up, they're like, oh, what's your relationship with Jesus? And how long uh, have you been going to church? Oh, that's uh, nice. I was like, this is pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty good. But I looked at all the slots after I filled in my audition thing. Uh-huh. It was just with Sign Up Genius. And they were all filled out. I was like, oh, that's okay. And tomorrow, uh, there's a thir- there's 31 people standing by, which means they said you can just show up and they'll try to fit you in, but they don't know how long that will take, pretty much, from huh. like any time tomorrow for auditions. And so I'm going to go to... Uh, Bleepity bleeps. Oh my goodness. Graduation I'm getting lo- party. I'm getting I'm losing all track of all these bleepity bleeps. I don't know who's who anymore. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to the graduation party tomorrow. Uh-huh. And then I'll stay there. And then when it's over, I will go straight to Gateway. And let's see how long it takes. So sweet. I went to one cotillion. I never went back. Oh. I thought you were there though. I, I think I was Ryan like, was who's there. This game? Oh, so you admit it. It is dumb. Yeah. Yeah, I do. I miss. Oh, dear. You want to die? Because the boys had to do literally everything. Oh, well, oh for, well, that's just like they're trying to teach them the way of being a gentleman. Yeah, like no. pulling their chair out for them and I, stuff like that. I understand. I understand. But that, that's not like. I'm like, <laughs> I understand in the Bible that it said, I don't know, like gentlemen should be gentlemen. And like, yeah, I I understand. Gentlemen should be gentlemen, right? But I, they I, had hmm. the girls just right. do nothing because mm-hmm. boys had to escort the girls to their tables. That is good, that, right? That's yeah. okay. That's good. The boys Take my had arm. to uh, pull the chairs out and like put them in. Like that's good, right? Well, yeah. Uh, they had to ask the girl like sitting across from them or like next to them or something like that. I don't know. It's been a long time. So sweet. They had to ask her out. Uh If she said yes, you win. (laughs) Oh, I I, got to ask. I got something after you're done. They had to ask if she wanted either tea or water, I want to say. And then you had to go up and get it for her. Well, I don't know (laughs) how much I stand for that. But, and then there's more. Oh dear. The boys after dinner, like, oh, and you had to cater to the girls the whole what do you mean cater to the girls? What do you mean? Just like fulfilled her every need. I don't even know. Oh no! But I, after I, that, like I dropped a pen. Can you go get it? Yeah. Well, hey man, that's training you for marriage. That's what a good husband does. I know, I know, I know. But then after that, all the boys had to do all this like work. Like we had to actually put stuff away, and it took a long time. And you know what the <laughs> girls were doing? They were standing there just talking. <laughs> like, no, <laughs> come and help. <laughs> this actually sounds really funny. Like. <laughs> You're giving all the. Hope. I was, I was, I, I was like gr- 13 years old. I was, I, I just turned 13. I remember I went because <laughs> it was Sarai's birthday. Like that day, I had just turned 13, and I was a wild child, and I don't, I couldn't lift anything because I had no muscles. So there was like, there were all these strong like 16 and 17 year old girls were like, you know that they did like CrossFit or something, <laughs> and then there was me with like the little noodle arms. <laughs> Pick it up like four tables by himself. <laughs> there was this one girl there that I sat with at the table, and then I also danced with her because Ooh. we asked each other out. No, I'm no, just, I'm no, just no, kidding. No, yeah. They just like put you at random tables, and then boys get in one side of the room, and then girls get in the other side of the room during dance. Uh huh. Because it would go like down the middle, because it was like line dancing or something. Right. And I don't know, me and that girl just like ended up together. But Ooh. I think I like I remember this for some reason. There was one girl I knew. I can't remember who it was for the right. life of me, but right. it was some girl I knew, and like I was like friends with her, I guess. I don't know. But she saw that she was gonna line up with me during the dancing. Oh no! So she pushed 
her friend in front of her. Oh no, it's so mean. <laughs> and I I saw that. I was like, what? No. <laughs> <laughs> like it's fine. Like I don't care. But I I just remember that. That she probably thought I was weird. That's so mean. I think I've seen girls do that with me as well. Except they were girls I didn't know, so that made it even worse. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, uh, well, man. Yeah, but yeah. Do you have any other cotillion stories? I I don't know, cause I only went to cotillion once. Um, oh. there is the ain famous left hand story. The the what what now? I don't have to call. It. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna sum it up real fast, cause I know I've told the story to everyone, but. When we were all sitting and they were giving out the rules for cotillion before the boys escorted the girls to their tables, she was giving the table etiquette and she said you have to cut the steak with your right hand and then you have to eat the food with your right hand. She's like, any questions? I raised my hand. I was like, well, I'm left-handed, so I'm just going to have to, uh, you know, use my left hand. Like, right. Sorry about it. And she was like, actually, no, you <laughs> have to use your right hand. I was like, what? She was like, you have to use your right hand. So... I used my right hand while I was eating. I don't know why, because, <laughs> well, nowadays, I mean, everyone knows me. Like, I would have just used my left hand. But back then, I was, like, I followed the rules and stuff. So I, like, <laughs> I really did cut with my right hand and eat with my right hand. And this one kid at the table, he kept making fun of me. He was like, come on, man, you're eating it wrong. Or, like, just put your hand, like, on the bottom of the spoon. Or he's, well, that's kind of mean. Or he was like, uh, you look so weird doing that. And then a girl sitting next to him was like, stop. But yeah, I don't know. It was it was weird. Cotillion was a weird experience. I don't know why I remember it so much, because it was a long time ago. So I went to Burlington Coat Factory, and I found this button-up shirt I really liked. Mm-hmm. And it was $7.99. It's not 8 bucks. Nope. It was $7.99. <laughs> and I was that. like, mm-hmm. This. This. This is the one. This is the one I will marry. So oh, I, wow. I put the shirt in the cart. <laughs> And I was like, well, I got to find I gotta find a suit for toadies, right? Amen. So I yeah, went to the suit yeah, section, uh -huh. and none of the suits had price tags. I was like, oh, okay. Ooh. But I tried on this one. I'm sure everyone already knows where it's going now. Mm -hmm. But I tried on this one suit. With the button-up shirt, I was like, mmm, this is going to look good at the and, award and show. And then it disintegrated into ash. It did. A, <laughs> a dragon came in. It just, like, blew its fiery breath. And then I, like, came with my power uh, move. I was like, oh. Sudoku! <laughs> And then it turned me into water temporarily, oh. so I wasn't burned by the dragon. But. That, that bit went longer than I thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> so, I tried on the suit. I was like, oh, this is good. And then I walked up to the cashier. Uh, I rang up the shirt I'm wearing now, actually. This was $7. Wow, it's, it's a very nice black and white cow-looking shirt. <laughs> yeah. I, like, walk into Chick-fil-A. They're like, oh, my gosh, we're so sorry for murdering your family. <laughs> And I'd be like, I'm not a cow. <laughs> okay, so I I got the shirt. Yeah. I rang it up. I was like, yes, yes. So I got the one I'm wearing mm -hmm. now, and then the button-up one. And then, mm. and then, you guessed it, it's suit time, baby. So I gave her the jacket, the cashier, and I didn't even give her the pants. No, 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 no. It was just the jacket. Uh, you want to know how much you ring up for? Well, you already know this. It's, uh, it's uh, kind of, the wow factor is gone, but... Um, a hundred and thirty nine ninety nine, <gasps> not a hundred and forty, a hundred and thirty nine ninety nine. And I was thinking, what? what, what? Oh, oh, my ears. <laughs> I'm listening to the audio as we record it. And so my mom was like, how much is that? And cashier said, it's a hundred and thirty nine ninety nine. Wh That's what the price tag says, ma'am. Was it just the shirt yeah it was just the suit jacket and my mom was like no 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 three times yeah <laughs> yeah oh, man wow uh, i was about to start singing that song from millie but then i decided against it no 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 stick to the stuff you know bro i play the cello no <laughs> okay okay but yeah. my mom was like no we don't want this so the cashier was like, well, you can go back to the jacket section to find more jackets for cheaper. But my mom was like, we will just go somewhere else. And Ooh. then we left. <laughs> oh, man. But, hey. Oh, it, great. Yeah, it's fine. That's, that's the, sad. The, I feel sorry for the... The cashier wasn't very nice. So it's okay. Was she not? She could be listening, but... No, she you was... You weren't very nice um... to my friend. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm so, mad at But you. it's okay, because... Mm, 
You drink so much water. I have to say this. <laughs> like, literally, through the entire last podcast, it was just like... <laughs> I'm like, no, Toby, I, I'm, I'm cutting that out. And then The he entire just came... podcast, but it's just me drinking <laughs> water. <laughs> Welcome to the three-hour podcast. <laughs> Are you thirsty? Because <laughs> I'm not. So we went to um, Suit Hardware. No, Suit Warehouse. Suit Warehouse. And there was one lady working there. And there were suits everywhere. Well, I was like, this. The name does imply. This is the place. Yes. It really does. And that suit was, well, let me tell you, it was less than $139.99 for the suit and the pants. And that was at the suit warehouse mm. in Grapevine, Texas, the Grapevine Mills Mall. That, that, would, would, explain why I, that would explain why it looks so cheap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, because <laughs> this is real. Okay, yeah. I Go went ahead. to church. There really for the first time i know <laughs> uh, i no. went to church yesterday and i uh, sat yeah. in the back and there was this you were anti-social i know uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> there was these two kids in front of me no. and they kept they weren't in the front but oh they this is just a side story okay they what? kept cuddling and like but they would be doing everything except for kissing and i wanted to well i didn't want to i didn't want to die so like <laughs> I, I just, I wanted to get out of there. I was like, no more. Uh, get me out of here. Yeah. So, like, every time they call the kids up to stand by the stage for worship, uh-huh. about half the kids, like, go up to the stage and, like, go wild. And then the second half just, like, stay in their seats. And I have stayed in my seat for the past, I don't know, two and a half years. Wait a minute. I've what? never gone up to up there. Well, I have, but, like, rarely. So, wait, so, like, the altar call is kind of like a party? No, it's not an altar call. It's just you go up there to worship. Oh. Cause like half the worship songs are party songs and the other half are normal worship. Wait songs. a minute, party songs? You mean like like everybody clap your hands? No, like like Toby Mac. Well, not really Toby Mac, but oh. like like that. Oh, Hillsong, Young and Free, like a ton of stuff like that. Oh, uh, and you don't go up there and boogie. But guess what? These two kids in front of me were ticking me off so much. <clears throat> they it, were upsetting you. That's right. That I well I didn't say anything, but. I just got up there. And you smacked him on the head. Yep. Yeah. No, I went up there to Stop. worship, and I never do. Which is fine. Like, it was fine. Like, I'll probably do it more now that I did it. You but sh- that's good. I, it was. It was fun. But, like, I was oh just boy. saying that these kids, like, I'm just saying this as a general thing. Please don't cuddle during, just just don't do it. Yeah. But, no. Leave the real, room for Jesus. That was a long side story. The real topic. Right. The I went to church. Oh, all of the, so many kids were on their phones during the lesson, and no one did anything about it. Like, I was sitting in the back so I could see everyone. So, so, so. Not the last TNT rehearsal, but the rehearsal before that. <laughs> we were talking about the book uh, because me and a couple other kids finished it, but the majority of the cast didn't even finish the whole book. But, and communion was at the end, but uh-huh. I, 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 Captain, the, the special Jack class. Sparrow, yep. Oh, Captain, my Captain. I, I knew what the director was talking about when he was like, communion, because he mentioned it to you, like when we were talking about the book and then he stopped us and he was like, how come none of you are mentioning the communion chapter? And then... Isn't communion something you do at church? Like with... Sometimes, yeah. Like with the crackers and... Yeah, but that's like a different thing. Okay. And then the, the different- director really was like, how come no one's talking about the communion chapter just while we were talking about the book? No, nobody then, read it, did they? Um, Nobody read it. Well, I don't know. A lot of them didn't read it. Oh, dear. And everyone stayed silent, and I was like, well, I read it. So I spoke up. I was like, I have no idea what this chapter was. I just, I did not get it. And he explained it more, and he was like, you're honest. I, good job, man. Yeah, like that was, because there were a few chapters in that book I didn't understand, and that was one of them. Mm -hmm. And he was like, well, it's because you guys live in a day and age where, you know, everyone's on their phones and stuff. Stuff like that. I don't know. You know. You know what I'm talking about. Right. And then he was like, "Right. When was the last time you had a heart to heart or an honest conversation with someone?" Saturday. It was with you. Well, on, remember, we had an honest, honest conversation. Okay, but before that was a good conversation. Before that, I'm not talking about the podcast. I know. I know. I'm like, before that, like, when's the last time? Mom. And I was just thinking that. I was like, uh. wow. Oh, because I, he was like, not through FaceTime, not through text, because he's like, when was the last time you had a heart to heart with someone and had a real conversation? I was like, oh, with my friend on FaceTime, like a couple weeks ago. And he's and then right after I thought that he was like, 
not through your phones, not through Skyping, mm-hmm. but like in person. I was like, oh, okay. So I don't know. I was just thinking of that and I was like, wow. I went bowling yesterday. Oh, with, you were insane, but I was sane. Uh, Actually, it was just before this podcast turned on. So all right, you know, you're over. You know what? What? Go ahead. All right. You, so I will. You, you, I will. You went bowling. I'm actually very intrigued. <laughs> okay, went <bowling>. good. <laughs> I went bowling with a group of theater kids, and name their one name. of one of which <gasps> is the director for ninety percent of our shows, and They're like eighty. So you know what, Tim? <laughs> More like seventy five. More like a hundred percent of the camps. So. <gasps> <laughs> what? <laughs> and <coughs> none of us knew how to bowl. Which was pretty sad. You know like, what? I, the, knew, the, I knew how to bowl. Well, I could have probably beat all of you. I didn't ask you, did I? No. Stop talking. That's what I thought. No, that hurt my feelings. <laughs> 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 okay, but the highest... <laughs> hey, the the highest, highest score mm-hmm. that any of us bowled was 103. And That's so I big. did not bowl it. The I'm average sorry. that we all got was like about 65 to 70. <laughs> It sounds so bad. We, but uh, it's I, 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 I'm sorry. I shouldn't say. I'm not. Actually, you know what? I am a very good bowler. Well, I got a strike. You know what? You just said that, and I told you no one asked, and here we are again. So how do you <laughs> think I feel right now? Like you got a bunch of information you didn't want to know, but you needed to know. That's not what I'm, you are wrong. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm sorry. But we weren't using the little bumpers. Okay. Oh, I okay then. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Never so mind. I'm not a good hard. bowler then. But the hot. Oh my gosh, <laughs> Tim! No. <laughs> like, oh, if I can't use the little dinosaur thingy that like helps guide the oh, ball. Oh, the dinosaur thingy. <laughs> I used it, and my ball went straight into the gutter. So. I need that. That okay. needs to be allowed in the pr- professional league. Oh, well, I see you using this dinosaur help. <laughs> okay, but funny oh, okay. story. Yeah. Funny, funny, funny. Funny story. I'm laughing already. <laughs> I bet you're thinking, Colby, you never have funny stories. Well, <laughs> oh. you'd be correct. Because <laughs> when do I tell stories on the podcast? Never, guys, never. Okay, but um, mm-hmm. the friend, the brochacho, the yep. uh, nacho queen, because it rhymes with brochacho, like nacho. She was like, uh, Colby, this time you should like throw, like, okay, I'm going to get up. Where it's like, you know when you They put, can't see. You know when you I'll put marry. the ball... Like in between your legs, and then oh, yeah. you bowl it like this. Yeah, yeah, I, I am sure so the people it's, it's in the like audience. The, it's like the grandma bowl to anyone. The, gra- the grandma bowl. And she was like, "You gotta do the grandma bowl, <laughs> but do it backwards, and then throw it like this." So. And I Kobe, did that, and so, that was the only strike I got all day. Are you kidding? Me? I'm, I'm serious. So you like you stood backwards away from the bowling pins, and I did the spread, grandma bowl. Spread your legs, and then shot it. Between your legs. And I got a strike. You got it. And I never got another strike. Like, all day. <laughs> I went to go see Jersey Boys the other day. And I have sto- have we got a story for you. Hey! Just kidding. Veggie Tales is out of business now. <gasps> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Why yeah. do you hurt me? Okay, but we went there. And we went to the box office. Okay. And if I have a student ID, we can get the best non-sold seats in the house. For twenty dollars, twenty at uh, twenty five dollars. There were thousands of people. There were five tiers, and we were sitting on the bottom floor, like really close to the stage. Because you were the only student there. Yeah, I was. I was the Re- only student there. Really? Well, uh, to all those podcast listeners, I already went over hey. this story with Tim, mm-hmm. and there were a lot of elderly people there, all, and I only yeah. spotted I think four other teenagers, and there were thousands of people there. So just to put that in perspective. And but I sat really close to the stage and it was great. Like it was like one of the best shows I've ever seen. Wait, and, Jer- Jersey Boys is a Broadway play? Yeah, it's about the four seasons, this boy band, the OG One Direction that was popular in like nineteen fifty, like nineteen forty nine, something like that. Uh-huh. 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 And uh-huh. it's about these four just these four boys and how they met. And how they like rose to stardom, and like the entire soundtrack uh-huh. is songs that they really sang, like in the forties and fifties. Like that's the entire soundtrack, and they're mm. all like really like they're all like some good songs too, like like during like half their songs. Cause I was sitting in a seat, like I was sitting like 
You know when you go to operas mm -hmm. and on the right and left. I've never been to an opera, but go well, on. Well, you know what I mean. Yeah. When I'm going to say on the right and left, there are like these boxes that really rich people sit in. Oh, yes, absolutely. Yeah, we were, and they had their little spectacles and yeah. they look through them. And we were, we were in one of those boxes, but like on the first floor. And it was like 20 seat, twenty seats on the That's right. That's nice. And then 20 seats on the left. That seems so nice. I know. It was awesome. And we were sitting on the right. So like, oh, I already forgot where I was going with this. <laughs> oh, okay. But it was like, it was a really good show. And the fact that we were so close made it so much better. Because we went to go see Something Rotten there. Like whenever Something Rotten was performing. Oh. Uh, like a year ago. Oh, uh, I want to see that. Go and on. we sat in the fifth tier so it was way up there, and you could literally only see, like, the actors' heads, and, like, you couldn't even read the signs or props or nothing. That stinks. Why do they even sell those? I have no idea. They're literally, like, $50. That's why you need to bring binoculars. I know. I was just thinking that. <laughs> I was like, next time I sit in the fifth tier, I'm going to bring binoculars. I've actually thought about oh, that before. My goodness. But, yeah, it was great. It was great. Oh, I remember where I was going. Uh, <laughs> I was saying... We got those seats, $25 each, me and my mom. Oh, wow. I paid 25 Well, I didn't pay $25, but it was $25 each for each of us. Mm -hmm. And we were so close to the stage. And literally, the worst seats in the house, which is way up in the back of the fifth tier, uh -huh. they're like $55. So it was, it was awesome. Just because you were a student? Yeah, because students like don't even know about that. It's called Student Rush. And I think it's kept like on the down low. Why don't they advertise it? I don't. I don't they probably get a lot more young people there. Probably. Well, no, because if they did advertise it, then students would just go and pay twenty five dollars. Because the seats we were sitting in cost like a hundred and thirty dollars. <laughs> so has anything cool happened with you over the past five days that we um, not seen each other? A little bit. Oh. I went to the local bookstore a couple days ago. Was it Barnes & Noble? As if I ever do that. Yes! I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> Your life is like uh, Star Wars. It yeah. rhymes. <laughs> but I mean? was in the adult fiction section. Of course you were. Yeah. Child <laughs> fiction is too childish for you. Um, what is this, a unicorn? No, I was... <laughs> <laughs> it's so fluffy! <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. I was looking at the George mm. Orwell books, like Animal Farm from 1984. And then I picked up Animal Farm. And oh, that, I, I read like, that, yeah. I started reading it. It was the worst thing I've ever... I didn't even get 10 pages in. But I was sitting there, uh -huh. and I was reading, in the little reading section where there are two sitting chairs. Oh. Uh -huh. And... Not three. All the... <laughs> not one... <laughs> <laughs> All these moms come in, and they come over to my section, kind of, like, they start migrating there. And they're like, you were Mr. Lawrence <laughs> in Little Women. <laughs> Three years ago. <laughs> you haven't changed. <laughs> I was sitting there, and then they come over. I was like, oh, it makes sense, because I'm in the adult section. Mm. Why would the adults not go to the adult section? Mm -hmm. But they walk right past the section. Oh, I was like, what are they doing? And they all have purses. Mm. So they all sit down. Like, from where I'm reading Animal Farm, I can see them. They go through the adult fiction section. Okay. And then they sit down in, like, another sitting section. Uh -huh. But it was, like, plastic chairs. Like, it wasn't comfortable chairs. Ew. And I was sitting in a real, like, plush chair. So it's yeah. great. And then they all sit around. Well, not in a circle, but in, like, a half circle. Semi-circle. And then at the same time, they all open up their purses and bring out some yarn. And they start knitting. <laughs> I'm serious. My mind is blown. In Barnes & Noble. Women knitting. <laughs> what will they think of next? <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> we were in a bookstore. They were like pride and prejudicing things up. I don't even. Wow. <laughs> Maybe they just had kids and were like, Mom, we're going to just read Percy Jackson over here in the kids section because we're kids. You go over there and knit yarn because you're old. You gotta get away from Little Richie. <laughs> on the Dick Van Dyke Show, you gotta watch it. <laughs> it's on Netflix. That's like my favorite show. Amen. Yes. Yes, we converted you. <laughs> so, guess what? I got another story. Oh, no. You thought it was okay. over? One hour episode. So, what The fans always hey, want that's it. that's not true. It'll be at least two hours. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. at the importance of being earnest, we have props for Act 2. Because Act 2 is just... Prompts to prompts. No. No. Stop. <laughs> There's a table. That's what you would have said. <laughs> I've no. studied your speeching Bro. patterns, and I have picked it up. Oh, is that true? That's what you were going to say. 
How do you know what I'm about to say? Oh, <laughs> a mind reader. <laughs> what was I saying? Oh, yeah. There's a table with books on it, real books. Mm-hmm. And then there's a bench, like a stone bench. With on fake it. books on it. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having too much fun pretending to you be you. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, continue, continue. Uh, okay, we what was I saying? Oh yeah, the, the real books. I get a book thrown at me in every run, and after the book throw, Funny. I go on for two more scenes, and then I'm done. And the book thrown at me is usually a blue one, and it's classic, and mm-hmm. it's filled with it's it. Wait. Well, as long as Kim's working the store, <laughs> we can get that fresh produce. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Did you get that on your mic? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, I hear it. Okay, so the book gets thrown at me, and it's usually the two books in one, John mm-hmm. Grisham, and it's uh-huh. the chamber and one other book. There are a lot of words on each page, uh-huh. like more than usual. And I've gotten a good 30 pages in to the first book, mm-hmm. and it's pretty good. And I thought it was just this normal book that no one's ever heard of. I was like, oh, whatever. So I just typed in the book on so, Google. Wait a minute. So you looked up the book and started reading the book that you got hit with? Yeah. <laughs> just like backstage. <laughs> okay. And I looked up the book just to see it on Goodreads. I okay. was like, oh, uh-huh. I got to finish this. Goodreads. Good read stuff. And a movie shows up. Hey! And the movie has the same synopsis as the book. And then at the bottom it says, based on the book by John Grisham. I was like, what? My mind is Now I got to finish the book. It's this movie that came out like the 80s. It's oh, called The Chamber. A good time. You know, the girls in the 80s. Then, you know? <laughs> if I could only go back in time. Uh, the Outsiders. Um, That's a reference. Check out episode nine. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> no Marsha Brady here. <laughs> <laughs> I thought wrong. What was I saying? Because I got 30 pages into the book. I looked it up. Oh, yeah. And it's this 80s movie. Mm-hmm. And it has like 5% on Rotten Tomatoes. Five percent is bad, right? It's pretty bad. Mm. My goal is to try to finish the book, the whole book, backstage mm-hmm. before we take it to Irving. Oh. Like that's the goal. So. Oh man, that's awesome. Well, Colby, I mean, we're like halfway into the episode, and we haven't really gone into detail about your TNT, the importance the of being earnest play. Oh, it was great. You want to uh, hear some fun stories? I yeah, you do. do. So, story number one of the show. (laughs) number one. I'm going to skip straight into the show because nothing much happened before we performed. Yeah. Except for TNT stuff, like classes. It was all usual stuff. They do classes? No one died. They do do classes at TNT? Yeah, they were fine. It was nothing big. It was just acting stuff. Like, they were fine. No. But during the show, (laughs) you heard me right in the middle of the show. (laughs) I walk out. Uh-huh. And uh, me being the servant that I am, I'm wearing servant clothes, s- s- servant everything. But, <laughs> but no. That's right. I remember that. I wouldn't I... be 100% clothed servant because oh. I'm a stupid little boy. No, 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 no. I forgot that I had to pack black socks or really any kind of socks for TNT. I brought like $3 socks that I found at this clothing store that were pretty neat. Ah, and one of them was this this sock that goes up to right below my knee. Uh huh. And it has Dalmatians all over it, just cause I don't know. But those were the uh. only remotely black socks I bought, because it was black. They were they were black at the base, but there were Dalmatians everywhere. So I bet you can guess what I wore on stage to all those hundreds of attendees. That's right. You were wearing Dalmatian socks. I didn't think that anyone would see them because I never sit down. I never bend over, but I thought wrong because oh, man. Uh, uh, <laughs> I've told you a hundred times in this podcast that I catch a book in the middle of the show. That's right. He does. And he gets thrown a book at him by Sarah. Cecily, she throws the book at me. And oh. of course, I caught it for the hundreds of thousands of times. <laughs> That we have run the show. But this time, this time, I did not catch it. Okay, it fell straight to the floor. And I bent down Uh to pick the book up. And as I was leaning down, my pants, Uh uh-oh, they hiked up to about right below the knee to where my socks actually ended. (laughs) So I was Uh bent down as a servant in the Victorian era. And everyone... (laughs) 
everyone could see my stupid little Dalmatian 2018 socks. No one laughed, but... They were all judging you. Yeah, pretty much. How many people are in the audience in TNT shows all together? I don't know. It was a lot, though. With over 100? Uh, it was about... It was at least 800, I think. Wait, no, just kidding. Just kidding. It wasn't 800. Oh, okay. I think it maybe sat 800. Mm. And it was... I never... My, it was pretty full. I never performed in a theater that had 800 seats. Yeah, I don't know if it's at 800. Impressive. That's what I think it's at. So... It's I your estimate. Know. Yeah. But I'll tell the infamous story of the TNT from this year and last year. Oh, no. Last Flashback. year. Flashback. Last year at TNT, we went mm-hmm. a couple of days early. And uh-huh. we were just chilling up in Baytown, wherever that's located. And we okay. went to this bowling place that was also a movie. Yeah, bowling. And the movie we were going to go see was Pirates of the Caribbean, whichever one was out Dead Man's Chest? last year. Yeah, I, I don't know which one was out last year. But yeah. that's what the whole cast was seeing. The whole, like, I don't know, 45 people at our theater that went to TNT. That's fun. And I, the one person, mm. didn't really want to see Pirates of the Caribbean. <gasps> I bet you can guess where this oh, is going. Oh, no. Because I had seen it. With my dad and sister, like, very recently. I see. And you're not the guy who likes to watch movies more than one. Yeah. Unless it's yeah. Incredibles 2. Well, yeah, because, <laughs> no, because they invited me, and I was like, I can't say no. But yeah. anyways, I was like, no, we don't want to watch Pirates of the Caribbean. Mm-mm. So I was just walking through the movie aisles, seeing what was playing at that time. Oh, no. <laughs> and I saw this really cheesy romantic movie. <laughs> It was called, I, I think it was called Every Day, but it was this really just teen romance movie. And I thought, yes, this is the one. And it started at the same time Pirates of the Caribbean did. And I thought, let's do it. So I walked in there, and I was there for like 15 minutes. And then I got texts from everyone. And they were like, hey, Colby, you know you're not even allowed to leave the group, right? I was like, what? And they said, you can't leave the group. You can be sent home for that. I was like, fine. So I watched Back in the Pirates of the Caribbean. I was the last one there. Everyone saw me walking in 15 minutes late. And Were I the just trailer watched still going? the rest of the movie. I think so. Oh, I, well, you didn't miss anything wait, then. I actually think it already started. I don't remember. Um, you thought my rebellious phase ended there. <laughs> just too uh, late. <laughs> I missed the TNT meeting this year because I was at a church thing. And I was like, we. I went to TNT last year. I, I remember all the rules. Mm-mm. So I thought. And this oh, year, no. as I went to TNT, the Bye. day before the last day, mm-hmm. the last round of shows, I went to go sit with another group because I didn't know Rebellion. it wasn't allowed. And uh-huh. our theater was sitting in the very top in the middle. I don't know why we were so far back, but we were. So the theater I went to go sit with, like, I just sat for fun. I was like, yeah, they're, they're cool. I'll sit with them, I guess. Mm-hmm. Like, I, wasn't, I wasn't, like, trying to break the rules. Even though everyone still thinks I was, like, trying to be, like, a naughty little boy and <laughs> broke the rules. Like, I honest to goodness didn't know that it was a rule. So, our theater was sitting in the very back. And uh-huh. the theater that I was sitting with for the last block of shows, they were in the very front. Okay? On the right. Mm-hmm. So, as you know it, no. everyone saw me. Mm-hmm. And they all went to the meeting. And they all knew that it was a rule. <laughs> But I was not at the meeting, so in the middle of the show, not before the show. Intermission? <laughs> there was no intermission. Literally in the middle of the show. Oh, no. One of our parents walked down the aisle, and they pulled me out. And they were like, Colby, <laughs> this is not allowed. You know that it was not allowed because you were at the meeting? I was like, uh-huh. oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know it was not allowed. I, I wasn't at the meeting. And they were like, you weren't at the meeting. I had a just church go. thing, that, which, is, which is a good excuse. Yeah, I know. And they were just like, just go sit down. And I was like, oh my gosh, okay. Like, sit down Ooh. with the theater. And I had never seen them this man, so I was like, yeah. <laughs> oh no. But after the block of shows, after TNT that day, we all went out to Whataburger. They were all like, ah, oh, Colby, nice of you to join us finally. Or Colby, is it really you? I was oh. like, guys, <laughs> didn't know. <laughs> I can see them doing that. That's funny. So... That's the two stories. You got me during the chick flick movie. (laughs) I lost it there. (laughs) I'm sorry if I all my squealing interrupted this story. It's all right. Because it totally did. Hey, the girl who plays Sarah Brown in Guys and Dolls, 
she actually has to touch my nose. And if I were a bell, because you know the song, right? Like, they're at like the Mexican like restaurant, and they're like dancers, and the fight breaks out. Oh yes, I remember, remember? that. Yeah, well, we took the fight out because it's inappropriate. But she oh. sings the song. Remember when she's like in love, and they're like outside, and she's like drunk. Yeah. Oh well. She's. We, we can kept, take out the fight, but let's keep the drunk. Yeah, we kept yeah. that in for some reason, and I don't know why. Like she's like full on kids drunk, play, and she's like stumbling around the stage, and she like falls into me, and I have to like push her back up while she's singing. It's I mean, great. how can you take but, that out though? But she like touches my nose like during the song, and it's really awkward. And the director is like, "You gotta make it cute," but like it's just not gonna happen. <laughs> but it has to happen, Colby. <laughs> it's gonna be cute. Oh well, we'll try. Wow. Hey, speaking of yo ugly, Ouch. which makes me think of that rap song. Uh, hmm. I was at this thing called Bonfire Worship, and it's with Valley Creek Hub. You hey, know, yeah, I know that. You yeah. know I don't go to Hub, and I didn't know it was by Hub. Why is it called I just, Hub? I just heard about it. I don't know. Hubba hubba. I, I heard about it like on social media and stuff. Social media, ah! Uh, hey! The center of everything. Mm. And it was called Bonfire Worship, and it was outside, and all really? these teenagers came. And like I said, it was a Hub thing. So they were all kids from Hub. But I didn't know it was Hub. I just came because I thought it was a thing. I didn't even oh, know it was with a church. I see where this is going. And a bunch of girls came up to you. Actually, asking... no one came up to me. So well, there, there you go. But well, okay. I, I met some people. There's teenagers for I you. met some people who we have some mutual friends with. So that was fun. I just oh. hung out with them. And then after the worship and message, we went down to the dock because it's on Grapevine Lake. It's just mm -hmm. right there. And we went down to the water. And everyone jumped in, and I didn't know it was a thing. Like, I was talking to some people. They're like, oh, yeah, we do this every bonfire worship. Like, we just jump in the pool. Like, they were all wearing bathing suits. And I was wearing, like, a nice outfit because I wanted to Aww. be impressionable. And they were all just, like, they didn't care. I was like, great. So well, now you I know. actually got in the water, like, in my clothes because I would have been, like, the only one not doing it. And someone was playing was... rap music just on a speaker or something. Hamilton. And it was clean. it was clean music. Uh -huh. Although there was this one song where they just started, like, F-bombing. I was like, oh, my. Am I at a church event? <laughs> or no, because what's going on? And then someone just walks up to the person playing the music. They're like, oh, you should probably turn that off. You know, whatever. It's chill. I was like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> what? 